Buying a home is a major decision. When buying a new build, you may depend on the experience of the real estate developer. Hopefully, the transaction goes smoothly, but not all buyers are so lucky. In Richard v. A. Waldman & Sons Incorporated, the buyer relied on inaccurate information he received from the developer when he decided to purchase a property, inadvertently missing a zoning violation that decreased its value. David Richard bought a house and plot of land from real estate developer A. Waldman & Sons. Waldman & Sons used its standard sales agreement, which included a provision that the sale was subject to the zoning ordinances. During closing, Waldman & Sons gave Richard a plot plan that was prepared by a registered engineer and land surveyor. The plan indicated that the side of the house was 20 feet from the boundary line, in compliance with zoning requirements. Based on the plan, Richard finalized his purchase, and the warranty deed was delivered. Months later, Richard realized that the foundation of the house was actually only about two feet from the side boundary line, in violation of zoning regulations. Neither party was aware that the yard on the side of the house was less than 20 feet from the boundary line at the time of the sale. Richard sued Waldman and Sons for false representation associated with the land sale. The trial court ruled in Richard's favor, and Waldman and Sons appealed to the Connecticut Supreme Court. 